Hello, my name's Tragic O'Hara and today and today I'm going to paint Deadpool. That's it. There's no there's no other story to go with it. It's just it's horrible outside. Some fantastic Scottish weather. So that's it. So I'm gonna paint the best Deadpool. Like the best Deadpool ever, which is which in my opinion is this guy. That's the best Deadpool. <laughs> Obviously I'm not, obviously I'm not painting that monstrosity. I mean, what a way to, 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 to proper kick the fans in the teeth, eh? So I'm up, man. Honestly, what the? Anyway, at least it was Ryan Reynolds. So I love him so much that I dress up as him quite a lot. So I dressed up as him for like my boy's birthdays. Uh, I also painted a, a Deadpool on my garage door. Uh, and then when my kids' school found out about it, they decided to take the kids on a school trip to see it so they walked through from from the school into my street while they were outside i dressed up like deadpool and pretended to do the housework kind of thing so like there's a half finished deadpool and wolverine in my kids room that one day i'll finish like eventually i got that marvel unlimited subscription so i've been sitting i've just been reading deadpool every night i've been watching i've just been reading any deadpool comic there's everything's there like that so i've been reading all the stuff the secret empire stuff uh, deadpool kills the marvel universe the marvel universe kills deadpool some of the the cable cable and strife stuff and that and like like yeah i just love deadpool like he's one of my favorite kind of comic book characters him deadpool deadpool and batman super serious and super not serious like <laughs> I've got red, black and white paint. I'm going to paint Deadpool. Plus I've been painting a lot of like realistic stuff recently and I quite fancy doing some, just a dirty great big comic book thing. Like, cause I love that stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint it. I'm going to paint it up there. Finally get this wall in use. That's it. There's no real story. That, there's no story whatsoever. I just want to paint Deadpool. Well, you kids want to see something really cool? Check this out. I always find that painting kind of graphic stuff can be harder than and can be harder than realism. With when when I'm painting real things, it feels like there's a lot more leeway. Whereas with graphic stuff and that, it just feels like there's a lot more that can kind of go wrong. That's all I used to paint. Like when I first started painting, I was terrified of real stuff. So I just painted like big bold graphics. Then when I started painting real stuff, actually I was terrified of this, but it's it feels a bit. Not, not easier, but like I can make more mistakes and fix them. Whereas if you make mistakes when you're painting graphic stuff, it's a lot harder to fix because you need to go back in and rework and keep cutting and doing stuff like that. So because I've not done it in so long, I'm like, I'm going to paint something like that to get my practice up, like to get better at it. Like I really like painting graphic stuff. I mean, some of the ideas that I've got coming up, I want to get better at that. But yeah, I'm going to start throwing in the colors now and that'll work, so. So, we tap, see you got lines like that. Like the really, really skinny lines. I always make sure I've got a half, like maybe, I don't know, fractions, a sixth, a sixth of a can 
because like if you use a full can, or I feel when I use a full can, the paint comes out really fast. I use this can for the big fills, but see any lines, I make sure I've always, same with white, I take a white and I take a black, but that's what I use with a grey dot or a super skinny or the Montana level one or something and it just lets me get those kind of feels like pencil lines like I quite like the way that they're a bit dirty it's almost like like a rough pencil like I prefer it to look like that Monday. Now, I finished this on Thursday, but I had stuff on, like a lot on, uh, Thursday afternoon and Friday and the weekend. <laughs> so, this is me just kind of getting back to look at it when it's all done and stuff. And I'm happy with it, I'm happy with the way it turned out. The, a bit of comparison. So the Lemmy took between three to four hours to finish. I think that's not including like prep, that's not including like setting the cameras up and like getting all my paint sorted and all the stuff that goes about. Just actual paint time took between maybe three to four hours to finish Lemmy. That took closer to six. I mean, it's bigger and it's wider, but the graphic stuff seems to take me longer. So by the time I'd finished it up on the Thursday, I was like, um, you get hundreds of other stuff to do rather than film an outro. So yeah, that's it. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to my channel. I bust my thousand subscribers, which is amazing. Like I'm I was proper, proper chuffed with that. Not, not bad for a guy with an accent like this. You can get me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Mr. Tragical Hara. And next time, don't know.